Dr. Nabokulovic, uh, time for your opening remarks. Okay. Thank you very much. I will focus my comments on the, um, the African continent. Um, and I think the first thing I would like to say is it was kind of nice to see Estefania's presentation looking at all the African countries that are adopting the minimum diet diversity for women. And regarding that, I just want to uh, indicate that there's actually been agreement on the African continent through the Comprehensive Africa Agriculture Development Program to use the minimum um, women's diet diversity as an indicator to track progress on agriculture, as well as the minimum diet diversity for children six to 23 months. And this has been brought about by the realization that although we have been seeing increases in agriculture production on the continent, we have not seen equitable increases in uh, better diet quality at the same time. So there is this that has happened. So it's nice to see that there's actually movement towards collecting the data because that has been one of the challenges is that countries had not been collecting this data frequently but for the occasional DHS survey that would have collected that data. So frequency of data collection then is one of our challenges. Um, but also we find that within the African continent, we can have quite significant agroecological zones uh, differences over actually quite short distances. So because of that, the, the, usually the, um, the tools that we get and when we get national averages, they don't actually have much meaning at, at local level, um, especially when uh, communities are depending on food that is grown within that area. And because the, uh, the transportation of food across areas, especially for the more perishable foods, they don't travel as long distances. So there is actually need to look at what is happening at the local level. Um, more so, especially because when we put uh, in place interventions, they actually need to be contextualized to local level uh, to quite a large extent, especially where there is limited access to markets. So here I would say the additional challenge that we then have is that we are not adequately using our academic institutions to collect data at those local levels to be able to contextualize the way in which we implement interventions. And this is an, an area that is actually uh, needed. We also need to align uh, data collection systems. And earlier, uh, on the first day, the Vice President of Zambia talked about incorporating the minimum diet diversity for women into the Living Standards Measurement Survey, which I think if that happens, that would be very useful because this is data that is collected frequently and one would want to see that kind of initiative spreading across the continent. Thank you. Thanks so much. Yes. <laughs> A reminder of the importance of uh, frequency collecting data and also that nev national averages may not be so relevant for planning at the local level. Very important reminders.